Hey everyone, this is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And uh, I'm doing great today. How are you guys? I'm a little bit sick, but um, yeah, Brandon's doing fine too. I got him back in his cage and he's all nice and comfy in the basement, but you know, I'm feeling generous today. How about for every like this video gets, I will feed him a crumb. All right, so uh, yeah, this doesn't come along very often. So how about you guys feed Brandon and give this video a like? <laughs> on a more serious note, guys, uh, this tutorial is on lens flares because I'm so sick and tired of seeing people's lens flares being so crappy. It just makes me throw up instantly. I see it and I just, ugh, I just throw up right to the side. So um, yeah, this is how I do lens flares. As you can tell, it's very uh, simple, very elegant, and very laid back. It's very subtle, and there's a reason for that, guys, because huge lens flares just don't look very good, and that's the first mistake a lot of people use. And today's tutorial, guys, is just going to be a very basic, basic tutorial, uh, because I just want to get this out of the way, because a lot of people just don't even know how to use lens flares, especially optical flares. And that's what I'm using today, guys. I'll put a link in the description. It is a paid plugin, but trust me, you guys will love it, and it's amazing. So just drag and drop the footage into this blank canvas area. I'm including this footage in the description, so go there, download it, love it. It's me playing the guitar. I mean, what more could you want, honestly? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, also this. Uh, it's to a new music video coming out very soon, guys. So be excited for that. And um, yeah, the guitar track is me playing. Uh, I couldn't include the whole song into it because I don't want to get copyrighted. And they can't copyright a chord progression, so suck it, law. <laughs> so yeah, um, first things first, guys. Let's rename this. Click on raw, and uh, let's just name it E-square. Boom. Looking good. And now to apply optical flares, here's what your guys' is going to look like. It's going to be blank. It's actually probably going to be on characters. So go over to effects and presets and uh, search optical flares and you'll find it and then right click over here in this blank canvas area and we will do a new solid hit OK doesn't matter what color it is let's uh, call it flare boom isn't that awesome and I made mine black because I'm not racist so uh, yeah optical flares drag and drop onto the flare layer and boom there you are you're done good job guys I'll see you guys next <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> uh, same joke never gets old so yeah, this is where we're at, guys. Basically, here's the first mistake people make. They go and they go to the render mode and they go on transparent and they're like, oh, that looks so good. Look at, oh, I'm the best. No, that looks like crap because let me show you something. That's barely see-through. doesn't look realistic at all. And how you make it realistic is first go down, you select flare. Make sure that you have your blending modes open. You just hit F4 to bring them up and then go to screen. Look how much more realistic that looks, guys. It's a little bit see-through and uh, just makes it look worlds of a difference. And uh, personally, I hate when I see people not set it to screen, but you can set it to anything else. Like in the Hearts All Gone music video, we set it to classic color dodge, and it actually looked pretty sick too. It gives it a different look, but if you don't have high-quality footage, it looks like crap. So I'm going to stick with the basic screen. So now let's move on. Um, there is something to change the flare, guys. A lot of people don't know this. Go to options and <gasps> wow, look at all the flares. You have so many options. You could do so many activities. <laughs> Go to any random one and they all look amazing. They all look worlds better than the default one. But I'm just going to pick some random one. Let's just pick robot light. Boom already looks a million times better let's lower the brightness and uh, yeah obviously I, I don't really have to teach you guys what brightness and stuff means right I mean you guys you guys know that much and I'd like to give a little thanks to Brandon real quick because he did this part freehand in the music video and I mean he held it very very still but that's my recommendation guys Keep it still at first. Don't do moving shots at first because it can get very complicated. I will do an advanced tutorial 
uh, maybe next week, maybe some other time, if you guys want, on how I really do my flares. I set up a Luma mask and it tracks it by itself and it does all this crazy stuff, but I just want to get the basics out of the way, so that's why I'm doing it like this right now. But um, if you're just starting out, make sure that you don't get ahead of yourselves and do it on a tripod or keep it very steady. So, yeah, let's move on. Um, with the flare selected, just uh, move it. You, you have to go back here. And you can move it by clicking that little, that little like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain that, that little dot with a little cross in it. Move it to where your light source is. In this case, if you're using my footage, um, you just drag it on top of the light. And it'll already look amazing. But here's where people mess up, guys. If you move in front of it, it's going to darken. So let's go to where I move my head in front of the light. And let's set up some keyframes. Let's go scale and brightness. And let's move it to right about here. Okay, I move my head in front of it. So let's actually take the scale down a bit. There, right there. Good stuff. And then to the end, it's... Let's just make it grow just a tad, tad bit. Now let's just make it 100. And that will just give it a little bit of life. And to give it more life, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Flickr. And we're just going to set the speed to something like yeah, 12. And the amount... Uh, actually, let's do, let's do 12 on this. Let's do 19 on the speed. And let's just see how it looks. I'm going to let it render real quick. And uh, it should look pretty convincing, guys. And the whole key to lens flares, honestly, is the subtleness that you guys use them. They're meant to really complement the footage, not to just make the footage like hard to watch. If it's, I, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes I just throw up. So just please take a little bit, t take a lesson from me, and just be very subtle with it, please. And that's looking pretty good. You know, it's very subtle. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't know really how much more to tell you guys. I mean, that's very basic. I think I taught you guys everything you need to know up to this point. Now, I will make a more advanced tutorial on keyframing and doing all that stuff. But just uh, use this footage. Get, get more comfortable with this because the next lesson, if you guys really want it, will be pretty intense. Luma masking gets pretty intense. So, um, yeah. But uh, let me just um, make this footage look a little better real quick because it's pretty ugly. Let me change the composition settings. Let's just make this what like what what is 53? It's like 759. Ooh, lucky guess. <laughs> I'm just making it into a uh, anamorphic looking wait, what's it called? Anamorphic. Oh, I can't think anamorphic widescreen. Thank you. Goodness gracious. I'm I'm embarrassing myself. I I know what I'm talking about, guys. Okay. <laughs> uh, anamorphic widescreen just looks more professional so I'm going to stick it in that and then um, yeah let's make a new adjustment layer real quick and let's just go just so it's more beautiful I'm just going to go to misfire real quick I'm going to add a, a Viggy vignette and let's uh, decrease the size making it larger and then let's uh, you know, let's intensify the intensity, of course. And then let's grab Mojo. Just drag and drop her right on top of the adjustment layer. And let's Mojo her up. Maybe not too much. And then let's make the tint uh, more, more bluish. Keep the balance up. Then let's warm the crap out of it. Because I think it looks pretty sick with the warm, the warmer look. And let's not punch it too much because then we start getting it very dark over here. Then let's just bleach it just a tad bit. Yeah, that's looking sexy as poo. Oh man, that looks cool. So next, let's make another adjustment layer real quick. New uh, adjustment layer. And let's just uh, enter, call this blur. Or DOF, whatever, whatever you want, whatever you guys want to call it, for depth of field, uh, blur and sharpen. Let's do a nice Gaussian blur. Let's uh, make it pretty intense because we're going to be 
uh, with with blur selected go up to here make sure you have the ellipse tool selected then double click on it and it will create a mask and then we will invert it drop down menu turn up the feather a lot a lot a lot no is that that's too much <laughs> not not too much guys I mean I'm just a man so let's uh unselect well here have the mask selected but then click on the side so you can edit each point let's drag this in and then let's drag this point in yeah then let's drag this point down so we keep keep the focus kind of on on me and that is looking insanely good so uh, yeah with just those little bit of edits I will show you guys what it looks like I'll render this out and I'll put this uh, this in in the description as well so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys took a little bit this was more of a suggestion video because I've been throwing up a lot lately because of all the nasty lens flares I've been seeing so uh, yeah I'll put I'll show the video three times afterwards and you guys can have the same exact video and footage just check the description it's in the crotch just check it and uh, yeah I love you guys Brandon loves you I will tell him I'll go down to the basement right now and tell him that you guys uh, like the video five times already I'll give him five crumbs you know just just some courtesy crumbs and uh, <laughs> uh, yeah we'll see you guys next week and uh, Brandon will see you guys on Tuesday so be excited for that and Peace out, guys. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.